our minds as a point of entrance. Equally so, the devil uses our mind as a point of entrance too. So you are here today, thoughts came to you and those thoughts have matured and now it's a stronghold in your life. If now you don't deal with that, guess what? You will begin to succumb to that because you thought the enemy put a thought in you and the thought were dreams, dreams of death, dreams of suicide, taking your life or seeing your life go, terminated. And that has become a stronghold. Each time you sleep or each time you're walking, you think you have few days to live, just a few days to live, or few months to live, or you're going to die early. And the enemy puts those thoughts. As you continue to meditate upon them, you will find yourself in a hospital or ready to die because demons then take their role. Today we want God to deliver you from all those thoughts, all those dreams, suicidal or dead spirits, so that God can set you free today. And you are here today, lift up your hand and say, Bishop, pray for me. I am one person like that. I will surely pray for you. Don't be shy. It's your life. Lift up your hand. Come, 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 come and stand here. Hey. I'm glad you came. This is one of the men that we witnessed to yesterday. Mm, beautiful. Thank you for coming. Yeah, I didn't know you had this issue. Thank you. We want God to set you free from these demonic spirits. Young men, you have no hope in your life. You find that you have lost hope. You look at your situation at your condition you believe and the enemy believes that it's better for you to die than to live he is a liar and we take authority over him today we cast all foul spirit of death i'm glad you came to church today because when you leave this place you are changed the change never open those doors if you open those doors you may not get another chance you may not get a minister that will descend and you're born born for good born at the prime age of your life you're born come 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 let's help i break this foul spirit i break it home
call of suicide and dead bodies and so forth, a voice spoke to you and terrorized you and said, don't go there. Don't dare go there. If you leave without God encountering you, you are in trouble. You need God to help you. Don't walk out of this place having had a wrong voice that says stay. You better respond. Amen. Cancel their voice in Jesus' mighty name. Break their voice now. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. This lady is free. All demons are signed to destroy her. Kill her. Have no authority over her. We break the hold now. Free her mind. Free her. Jesus. I, uh, whoa. Why don't you put your hands together like God is in the middle? Come on, you can do better than that. One more time for you. One more time. Just go on today. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Lift those hands up and pray after me and say, Lord Jesus, thank you that your Holy Spirit works mightily in my life to deliver me, to set me free. I cancel every voice of the enemy in my spiritual ears. In my heart, I open only my spiritual ears to the voice of the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus. I declare today that demonic powers are broken over my life. Suicidal spirits and tendencies are broken over my life. I am free. One more time. I am free from every form of oppressive spirits in the name of Jesus. Say it one more time. I'm delivered. One more time. I'm delivered in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit sets me free. If the Son of Man would set me free, I am free indeed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Indeed, you honor God for this. It may not mean anything to you because you are not in that condition. But someone whose life is at the brink, oh, it means a lot to them. Say Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. We thank God. Well, we have a few announcements here to deal with. Here are they. We welcome visitors if this is your first time church today show us by lifting up your hand so that we may welcome you this is your first time first time don't be shy first time first time first time stand up please stand 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 stand, stand. remain standing we are giving you a filling form and a brochure that brochure has a filling form on the inside. Pull that form out and then fill it in. Let me see an example of that form here. All right, pull it out, fill in that form. Thank you, thanks. All right, it's like so. 
There is the form inside. This brochure is yours. That is the filling form. You fill it in and take it back to the ushers before you leave. I think some of you are getting magazines. If you get magazines, it just tells you who we are, when we started, and some various activities, not only of this church, but of the whole churches that fall under harvest house. Once you have received that, please take your seat, fill it in, and then give it. Let's put our hands together for our visitors today. Thank you. All right. We want also to welcome regulars like you and all others. Please look at your neighbor and say, I know you're a regular. So I'm putting my hands together for you. Put your hands together for them today. Hallelujah. Oh, you're not clapping well then. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody wants to be delivered from alcohol. You are drinking, you drink a lot. You drink like fish. You don't want to keep on drinking. You just want to be set free from it. I think you need prayer. If you need prayer, just lift up your hand. You want to be delivered from alcohol? Thank you, ma'am. Come right here. We are happy. Thank you. You know why I called that? I passed through here. I smelled strong alcohol. I knew it wasn't these guys. I hope it's not these guys. I, I knew it wasn't these guys. At times, God heightens your spiritual senses. So I smell strong alcohol between these one, two, three, four. But these don't drink. I hope I, 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 I hope I'm right. So I knew I should call them. <laughs> hey, no, we are. Hey, how are you? Okay, you fall under this category. Okay, would you stand there, please? Thank you. At times, you can smell some of these things. Some of them you can, spiritually speaking, not using your normal sense of smell. We are in the We are in the Go and pray for that lady there, that young lady. Go and pray for this man. This man needs deliverance. There is another man there. There is another man there. Please go and pray for that man. Your husband. Oh, who my pray husband? He said, Oh, he wants us to pray for you. He drinks. Hey, please come. Hey, why not? Come and stay. Come to this now. Come and pray for him. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. When you when you do so, God moves on your behalf. We as preachers, very strange people, we pray for people to for money when we need money. Amen. We pray at times when we're not well ourselves for people to get well. They get well, we remain not getting well. Somehow God works in these ways. Some of them are very complicated to understand. Hallelujah. Ask them now. <laughs> if they say they don't drink, say the name in the not. If they are quiet, saying that we saw the pants walk up and he's who's the hard, he's without not. Wow. Remember, this will be our next coming Saturday, our second outreach, second week of our outreach, Shabalala. We went there yesterday. What a great time we had. So please be here 9 30 this Saturday. Let's go out and reach out 
for more people in Chabalala this time around. We are only there for four weeks. This will be the second Saturday. We miss some of you. Please look at your neighbor and say, Omunapi, O Bishop Labani Messia Fabas. Please ask your neighbor, Mfunugubo Nalapa on Saturday, 9 30. We want to see you Saturday, 9 30. Yeah. How many of us came for evangelism yesterday? Kangela Lapo, we are in Lapa, we have for evangelism. Come through here. All of you that came for evangelism, let me challenge this. These saints of mine that believe that church grows through osmosis or any other way, church needs evangelism. It cannot grow. It can never grow without you and I evangelizing. Yeah, these are the people that came for evangelism yesterday. Okay. These. Yeah, I know Priscilla was here, was there. She's not here, isn't it? Yet. Okay. You did come, Priscilla? Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right. Only a few, but look at, look at the church. Yeah, please, you that are standing up, Babu Zenile, point at them and say, where were you? <laughs> where were you? How can you leave, how can you leave the burden of, of a whole township called Chabalala to a few people like this, including me? And you are there. Can you imagine you were once a sinner? You needed someone to come your way, and someone did. And now, Sutlezi Jagupe. Ah, you must feel ashamed. Hmm. Please talk to your neighbor now and say, I'm ashamed of you that you didn't come. Yeah, I'm really ashamed. I'm really, really ashamed. It's embarrassing. As you didn't come. It's a shame. Okay. So, having said this, join us. There's still yet three Saturdays, including this one that's coming. It's an exciting thing to go out and meet people that don't know the Lord and witness to them. Christ anoints you that way. Say amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right. Pastor Matua, oh, this is now P. Mm. Pastor, I'm not used to yes. you being called no, Miss. Yeah, and somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> Senior Pastor P. Matua, I would like to see all the ladies after service where they remain Just here. Five Just for five minutes, see her here. Stand up, Mama. And so we chat. Mama only four weeks each other. Three weeks each other. Number two. Four weeks each other. Okay, please, she wants to see you. Maybe, just maybe, you may get the anointing to get married. Please, come and see her after the service. Thank you. All right, Ablaze, youth service, second, after the second service, there is a third service called Youth Ablaze for the young, young people, young people. I think it's 13 to 21, if I'm not wrong. 13 to 21? What is the 13 to 21. Thank you. All right, more announcements. All young people between the ages of 13 to 22 to see Minister Shepherd. That's you, Shepherd? No, is that you? Where do they see you? 13 to 22. Stand, Sheps. This is the man, Sheps. See him right there. Thank you. Next. Pastor's Lounge after the service. If you are a visitor, this is your first time, please don't go away after the service. Meet this lady just for a few minutes, drinks and so forth. You will see her there and then she will take you behind. Thank you. Next, I think that's all. Genesis 8 verse 22 is my scripture today as we take an offering. Remember, we are building. I'm always reminding you every week. We are building indeed. Thank you. Two envelopes. One for the building project, as well as one 
for your tithes and offerings and those that made pledges during Bishop Ogo, please honor those pledges. I know you are silent on that platform. Don't make a pledge that you can't follow up aggressively to honor. You must always follow your pledge aggressively to honor. That's biblical and that's key to certain levels in your life. Two envelopes, please. Okay. Those that need envelopes, lift up your hand and our ushers will come and give you an envelope. You need an envelope? Two. Who else needs an envelope up near me here? I'll give you an envelope. Thank you. All right. Take your time to fill it. There is a song coming from the choir. I'm not so sure what happened to the other guys. They're, they're, they're getting their envelopes. Okay. All right. Please give us a song and thank you so much.
up with us as we pray. Ask your neighbor, stand up. Unless you're holding a baby, you can take your seat. What a joy it is to have everybody in the house today. We are dealing with our, I forgot to read scripture there. We are dealing with that declaration there. Thank you. If you can get the declaration today. Remember, Senior Reverend Scott was here last Sunday all the way from Botswana, Zambia. Hub. He dealt with that declaration. What a message. I'm not so sure. I can't hear myself. Is this, is this all right, Gwarimbo? It's low, eh? Hey, Gwarimbo, come and fix this for me. Thank you. Hey, intimacy. Sex, sexuality. That's what we are dealing with for this month. And then everything else to cover family and children and raising kids, marriage. I have a message entitled Sexometer. Mm. Sexometer. <laughs> Sex, so what? Yeah. Not for today, but in the in the. I have another one called the power of Vinjombiza. <laughs> power of Vinjombiza. Ah, those two you must hear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when a brain is over, power of Vinjombiza. Something will come. <laughs> Otherwise, if we don't preach on this subject, who will? The power of what? Kangela Panisiwe Kangela Pasangana Babuas, what is John Pisa? Power of John Pisa. You don't want to miss that one, you in particular. You, you must be here. It will help you tremendously. Yeah. Because young people today know everything. So we can't say as a matter of fact, seven to look at. Call a spade a spade. Yeah. Need fire with fire. Young people are doing all manner of things. Vuzu parties, three sums, ten sums. They're sending parts to each other during the night. Private parts are flying. So, <laughs> they, these guys have gone deeper, deeper than, than, than you know. They gag each other, they chain each other to the beds. Man, she says, we are changing, it is my fancy. Now, I want to go deep, love. When I'm about to go up, look at your neighbor and say, when you deep, when it's doing this. Yeah. That man with his wife next to him say, <laughs> <laughs> While you stand quiet, please come down. <laughs> so today we are dealing with sex as God views it. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit softer than others. I'm not so sure how softer than others. Sex is sex, isn't it? He must be dealt with just, there's nothing. Mm. There's nothing to hide. You know it or you have heard about it. Yeah, but you find that if you say majority of people here, married or unmarried, how many have had sex? 
you will find that it's 99.999. Even in a low county, virgin or pass for Kahula. And I'm a virgin answer, so Kahula. We don't have we don't have them. <laughs> I say come on, I'm a virgin. <laughs> Even I'm a single guy is now I'm saying I'm a virgin. Say but must be better, but must be better so they are no longer virgins. Hey. Say amen. We have finished talking about them, then. How many wants us to talk? Very very no. No hiding. Ferre ferre. To ferre ferre. Nee, see, they teach biology in school. Mm. Yeah. They teach biology. Bishop Doug wrote a book on marriage, and he put drawings there, different different forms of drawings. Uh, and so forth. I, when I saw it long back, first, wow! But different forms of styles of those that are married to have sex. Different forms. Mm. You have you seen the book? You have read it. Mm. It's nice. Hey, that's why Matsuanya came to me and said, "Yeah, he's happy." Mm. <laughs> Six <laughs> Yeah, even at school they teach biology, isn't it? <laughs> so when we teach it in church, I mean, <laughs> people want to be funny. Let's teach it. Let's. Let's. We are not being vulgar. We are just following scripture. Is that not so? All right. While you stand, let's read three portions of scripture. Proverbs five, verses fifteen to eighteen. Drink water from your own cistern. Aish. <laughs> Drink water from where? Your, your own system. Hmm. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, drink water from your own system. Now, your girlfriend is not your system. Your system there refers to your wife or husband. Drink water from your own system. Ask your neighbor, your system is not your system. No, your wife, husband, that's what I'm referring to. Mm. <laughs> and running water from your own well. I want you to watch these words. Verse uh, 16. Should your fountains be dispersed abroad, streams of water in the streets, Mumbuzolo. let them be only your own and not for strangers with you. Hey, hey. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of your youth. This has nothing to do with cisterns, fountains as you know it. This is to do with sex. This is what the scripture is all about. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 7, verses 2 to 5. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Say nevertheless Nevertheless because of sexual immorality Let each man have his own wife Each man his what? And let each woman have her own husband Verse 3 Let the husband We do this when we are married people let the husband render to his wife the affection due to her. And likewise also the wife to her husband. In Debele, Amen. Every night, Women have a strange thing, but I'm a kanda every night. So, but I'm a kanda every night. Oh, my mother, every night. Namda zali lunzeli mchato, namtimchat yakon. 
every night. <laughs> I am starting. Mm. The wife does, watch this now. The wife does not have authority over her own body. In other words, <laughs> if you are married, that body belongs to your husband and vice versa. Amen. Your body as a man belongs to us. So each time you sit here, now what you have. We are Palama not story. We tell you, Palama not for a tour. Evening, I cook to me, Zelama not to me. My girl, to me, Zelama. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Say Amen. amen. Watch now, verse 5. I see many people do not deprive one another except with consent for a time that you may give yourselves to fasting and prayer. I hear some men saying, What's wrong with having it? We even when we are fasting and praying. And he says, and come together again so that Satan does not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. Hmm. Usually a man has a high sex drive. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll anoint your word as we share it today in Jesus' name. Amen. Before you sit down, last scripture. Proverbs 23 verse 27 For a harlot Do you know what a harlot is? A loose woman Or a loose man A harlot is a deep kit And it's a doctress A narrow well Take your seats Let me give you Break it down for you quickly as we go <laughs> Now, the Bible speaks of human sexuality, referring to it as waters. Say waters. waters. Say it with me. Say waters. waters. The book of Proverbs, therefore, has three, three words. Write them down. Number one, a system. Not a sister, but a system. There is this. Number two, a well. Number three, a fountain. The scripture that we read, Proverbs 5, verses 15 to 18, has all those terms there. I will not want to read it again there. Let's look at waters of human sexuality. Waters of human sexuality. A virgin or the virgin is referred to as a system of a tap waters. What is a virgin? Usually, it's a woman who has never known a man. Maybe the word known is not direct, who has never slept with a man. That's a virgin. Do we say women that are not virgin are not virgin? They're not women? No. They're women, complete women. If, if you let be lucky, in Zimbabwe to find a virgin. <laughs> there are very few. <laughs> yeah. Because when you pick a stone among women and you hit, you don't hit, you are likely not to hit a virgin. Well, you don't, yeah, you don't find them. I'm talking of those that are 
are supposed to be sexually active or at the right age for sex. You will not, you will not find them. I know the lady sitting next to you is pretending to be one, but she's not. So. <laughs> 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 so the virgin therefore has untapped waters it's a well it's a well of untapped waters many men want to marry virgins but they are the ones that destroy the virginity of women and they're looking for virgins and yet they are the major cause mm, look at the men next to you and say and therefore when they want to get married they are looking for a virgin and they can't find a virgin and they get angry where are the virgins but how many virgins did you break their virginity how many <laughs> tens and thousands she says <laughs> So, the virgin help you waters are sealed. Pogis, treasure. Mm, sealed. Untapped. Until the day of her marriage. But like I say, it's very rare in the world today. In Hollywood, certainly there are no virgins there. Mm. <laughs> So when a virgin marries a man, she commits her life to her and she allows this man to uncover that well. So once a virgin therefore gets married, she becomes sexually active. Number two, the married woman is a well of refreshing water for her husband. These men are under stress sexually, most of them, unless they are sick. Or oh, African witchcraft has come in, or oh, they are important. Important means ujoni gavugi, no matter what. Even if you stimulate joni zwafa vele no matter what you do, even if you see, doesn't. So when is it? So we have we have been looking for a mama chira maku. Eh, eh, unga before go. Pray for him now. Father, in the name of Jesus, activate what is missing in this body and heal, touch, mend, restore in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So are you looking for shields? Uh, okay, she's here. Okay. Thank you. All right, so we wait for. We are still on point number two, remember? Point number two. Could we have another man to help to a stronger man? Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, we are about to deal with point number two there. And then we should be all right. I'm just trying to make you focus here. 
All right. What did we say? We, what were we talking about is number one, what did we say? The virgin system of untapped waters. And number two, the married woman. We said she is a well of refreshing water for her husband. And therefore, she should remain a well. Because when there is no well, that marriage begins to suffer. And that's why doors then are opened. And therefore, you get some lady outside who's ready to be a temporary well. She comes in there, and once that man goes there, it becomes difficult to come out. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Sex is a strong vice. Once it holds you, it's difficult to come out unless you ask God continuously to break that bondage and you are free. Say amen. amen. So that's when therefore the scriptures refer to drinking waters out of your own system. They are simply telling us all that we should have sex with the one that you love, your wife or your husband. But coming out you stray it becomes double hard to come out and come out of that situation. May God help us Amen. as men and women. Lift up your hands and say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Help, us. help us in the name of Jesus. Name. Say it one more time, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Help, us help us in the name of Jesus. Name. When there is no intimacy between a man and his wife there is a danger there for the enemy to attack very easy very easy for the enemy to plant not only plant but you as a man sensing a strong drive sexually in your life to look and find someone else and once they come through Charlie, it becomes a struggle to break loose from such. So a man therefore needs sexual relations with his wife continually. It's a must. So many ladies think that they are fixing their husbands when they say no one's a fixer. They argue over a dress and therefore I will fix you. They never say those words, but you know it when you go into your bedroom. Yeah, you know uh, today, sanctions are coming. Yeah. They fix you, but they don't know that long term they're fixing themselves. Yeah. You fix that man for a month, that man is an animal. He's a demon waiting to manifest. Now, ah. Everything in his system says sex, 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 sex. Even in church here, his eyes are red. Mm. <laughs> because he wants sex and he wants it now. When a man is blinded like that, he will have sex with anything. He's not looking for beauty. Mm. He's not looking for elegance. No, he's just looking for release of hormones in him. The hormones are raging. Men say amen. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> They're raging. I'm not going to be in any Sunday, so shh. When I saw you appear, when I see the job must fail, we don't look at we innocent. So. No one month. voltage. voltage. Wow. 
Ubusubuya when I innocent. Yeah, my brother. So my lap. Me, 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 I'm a normal man. I have a wife. So when I'm hugging you, don't think of anything else. Mm -hmm. I hope. <laughs> I'm full of fire, Rati. I'm a test to Bishop. That's why I call a man, isn't it? Stand up, stand up. I call the man. If I do this with a lady, uh, we're from a newspaper. Thank you. So, here is a man. He is one month sanctions. Hey, hey, one month, Tori. Hey, hey. <laughs> For a man, it means a lot. One month. Unless the man has changed his mind and prepared his mind. But otherwise, a man is ever ready. You have seen those patterns written ever ready. That's the man next to you. Ever ready. Ever ready. Look at you, the man next to you and say, hello, ever ready. How are you? <laughs> because women need to be prepared. At times, they're not in the mood. Uh, oh, I don't feel like there's nothing like that with a man. Feel like what women feel like. <laughs> a woman, you have to prepare, buy flowers, and so be nice to her, hold her hand, give her money, talk to her nicely, and so all those are very good for you uh, if you are to have that. Uh, but not a man. A man who have a child when all the child is to say we are kind of ready. So there is a man who is ever ready. When our sister, when you say church, you are very innocent. Some hug, some kick it like a pressak. Thank you, sir. Church, you little one, you bad boy. Church, you want gain? I go in here, I keep holy of holies. Amen. If you are married, try not to deprive that man of that which is due to him. Say amen. amen. So what are we saying? Women don't apply sanctions. I know Zimbabwe is under sanctions from the West. But let not a man have double sanctions from the West and from the room. <laughs> I, I can't beg. <laughs> he, he can't beg. Two lots of sanctions. <laughs> That's why Paul therefore writes, Second Corinthians two five. Nevertheless, because of sexual immorality, the Bible says, therefore let each man have his own wife. And he goes on to say, don't deprive one another. I want to talk of the third word there. What word did we give? We I thought we gave you three words. There. Fountain. The third word is a system. I'm sorry, a fountain. The married man is the fountain. Why is the married man called fountain? Because there is a strong force in a man. A very strong force. Zesa is what now? Who works with Zesa? Zesa is 230 volts or 240. What is this? 230, 240. 240. This is 240. A man with a so strong sexual drive is 430 voltage. <laughs> we are cheese alone. <laughs> That's why the Bible refers to him as a fountain, an internal force in him. What's the scripture there that we're reading? Strong, strong fountain. First Corinthians 7, verse 2. That's not the scripture that I'm looking for here. Is that the scripture that I'm looking for? Yeah, the same scripture says, talks of the fountain. Can I talk about stolen waters here? Sex outside marriage. 
Long before there was medical knowledge about how STDs is transmitted and how diseases are transmitted, especially through sexual intercourse, the Bible was very clear about that. It says, for a war, a war is a diptych and a strange woman is a narrow pit. Now you can't drink water from a ditch. You know it's diseased. You know it's poisoned. And a narrow pit. You know snakes and all insects have come in there. They breed in there. You can't do that. But this as well refers to that relationship outside marriage. Proverbs 9, verses 13 to 16. It reads, if you are wise, you are wise for yourself. And if you scoff, you bear it alone. But verse 13, a foolish woman is glamorous. She is simple and knows nothing. Say, if you're a woman, say, I'm far from being that. Whoever is simple, let him turn in there. And as for him who lacks understanding, she says to him, stolen water is sweet. On my joint sex, whether outside marriage or inside and outside, I will see who test a while. It tastes the jigaluch. Moba when you have a child, it's a lack of a little experiment at Tumataya as Chincheni is a missionary position. Let's get into something that's different. I know a few men's have been a is Kutuman is a come but I'm a panty lavan. Mama, move it. I'm a lavan. Umove Penuve is a thing in variety, but I'm a panty Hey, Baba Nuba, I hope we won't be in problems in God. Ava Pans, the Lavana Mamma Mazira. Ava Pans. Uba Baloa, I didn't swear. I test the Pans. That's what finish. That's why the Bible says stolen waters is sweet. We are, we are very kind of it is. It's a testy lemon. And when we have a look, we have a high baba. Go and kill it. We have a zen. 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 Especially Christian women, let me start now. Especially Christian women. <laughs> Christian women are known to be boring. <laughs> because somehow they think intimacy with their husbands is sin, yet it's not sin. <laughs> and therefore they stay with one normal position that's known. The missionary position. Uwaba lo ave se straya lo lo. Aku fikta yo pante nga le gunzima. So ku chisa u sis mon zeba le. Are you coming back sis moli? We are waiting for you. Yeah, we can't mention some points before you come. Come quickly. Baba lega pe la basara. Nga su ku chisa. Bainza anu nanu ya kala ba yibainza. So stolen water is sweet. I was a fico I'm competing. This man is married, but I want him. So I better show him what he does not get at home. Ah, na pendu gifut. Se bem chegi se o homem mas tá é só kung fu. Ah, who? Hey, ah, who? Ah, bui futinka. 
Kwani sikuwa bangi missionary ya kirene pungwa. Ungani kadava, kadava is a dead body in a mochari. Ui mochari chiki. I planka chiki. Planka. Kwebe kulu mama vesi. I pipe liti ya sibe ngwele. Ngapu zama we. Nati. Umo ni sebu yini. Sezi kakoti. Eh. So therefore, that man, when he meets a woman outside, who is experienced in a ways, I'm pata pata, pata pata, pata pata, pata pata. I got to pata pata to Baba Luendi. We change our bags, man. We are poor, our bags. That dude is gone. I am a counselor, so I know these things. Kasabui. We are going to the bishop. We are going to test the help of our bishop. We are going to see if we can get the help of our bishop. We are going to see if we can get the help of our bishop. So, if we can get the help of our bishop, we are going to see if we can get the help of our bishop. I was counseling a man with 75. Another one, 82. Said, no, what have they? Hey, said, you can't go to the bar. He said, look at him, go to the bar. 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 He said, he's going to the bar. He said, he's going to the bar. He's going to the bar. He's going to the bar. These issues are true. I must preach about it. They are genuine. They are true. Look after the man. Look after the man. Because the statistics today are telling us in church, for example, for every man, there are 10 women chasing for one man. Just one man. A man who appears unmarried without a ring. Especially a good man with a future. When they look and kumbule mota, kumbule mota, mta wabanimbe. Mini kupa panzi, hyperclays. Ten women automatically assigned to that man. By a short of up. When ula elo su pata buchape zin. Ah, mama kudu. Kunzi manok. It says verse 17 Stolen water is sweet and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. Sexual relationships take place in the closet, is that not so? But which one channel can we have value, lama window, lama air ventilators, lama value, which is single, let's say it's to Jewish issue. We value everywhere. But the Bible says, verse 18, but he does not know that the dead are there. Kulim kutani lapa. Utukteta lapana, mitetu kufrae lapana. Got a disease. You are dying. Where is Luanu mamu wetezla elagna wae poa, at least we are pila. Patanga sale poa. That her guests are in the depths of hell. Many that visit her are in the depths of hell. Why do you think she knows all those positions and styles and everything else? Many visitors have come. She is a hotel. While I say that about her, I say that about a straight woman. Experiment. Hey. Hey, I I says, cool little says, I want to have a ten experiment, ma. Experiment. Hey. 
Ich habe mir jetzt noch immer was gemacht. Ah, me, I'm a tick device. There is nothing like that. Experiment. Lena, we can't say experiment. Hey. Is there a ring, man? No. Experiment, man. Don't experiment. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> so stolen waters. <laughs> they appear to be sweet. Is that not so? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to give you six points as we close here. Six points. Temptations of a provoked woman. Or oh, by oh, temptations provoked by a loose woman, rather. What is a loose woman? A loose woman is a prostitute. I wanted to look at that lady next to you and say, You are far from being a prostitute. You are a straightforward woman. Yeah, you are not. <laughs> And therefore, a prostitute does not make a good wife material. No matter how many stars she shows you, she will show it with others as well when she's married. So she doesn't. Never date a girl that is not a good wife material. You'll be in trouble. She may have all the caves built like a Coca-Cola bottle and everything else. She'll give you problems. Mm. Unless salvation has come and she's turned around. But if she's on the periphery, you'll be in trouble. You'll always worry. She'll bring others while you're at work. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 7, verses 10 to 21. And there the Bible says, a woman met him with the attire of a harlot. So there is an attire of a harlot. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So there is a proper attire, there is an attire of a harlot. She was loud. And rebellious, her feet would not stay at home. Kasali pants. We had to puma la puma. Upendu, we had to time la upendu. Se chama chuta ufo, se pendu. A times she was outside, at times in the open square, lurking at every corner. Mm. Verse 13. So she caught him and kissed him. With a hot kiss, Mwah! or a plant kiss. And she said to him, I have peace offerings with me. Today I paid my vows, verse 15. So I came out to meet you diligently to seek your face, and I found you. Verse 16. I spread my bed with tapestry, colored coverings of Egyptian linen. You are captured. I have perfumed my bed. Now look at the So this is story which I am jealous. Who can be the best? So far, nothing has been like that. All I'm going to tell. But when I want to zoom in, let's zoom in. Let's go. Go. We have been so blessed. So I perfumed my bed with men, aloe, and cinnamon. Verse 18. Come, let us take our fill of love until morning. Let us delight ourselves with love. We have a And she says, verse 19. For my husband is not at home. He is gone on a long journey. Hmm. Long mama is married, but is married to a man who can't function properly. 
He's under stress in Malaysia. Stangani, he businessman. He exchanged radium chai. What thing I in a wee seven eighty? See, we the exchange rate. See, two hundred is only low stress. Because when a man is under stress, he can't function. Yeah. Most men that are important are under stress. And then blood pressure shoots up. And then the man can't function. No matter what he tries to do. We are now. So when your mama can't be able to say, Baba, we are now. We are now. We are now. Baba, we are now. 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 Because when see jump start pa 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 when I chat three times your phone pa 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 it's fine me do chat gently bel pa 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 the lies but when I rise when I chat when I rise at the right place go tla go njalo go phela so it's why it goes on Mm-hmm. My husband is gone, gone on a furrow. He has taken a bag. That's why I say he's a businessman. He has taken what? A bag of money with him. And will come home on the appointed day. And she knows when the man is coming back. She looked at the return air ticket there and said, okay, it's Wednesday next week, so I'm fine. Mm. And listen to verse 21. With her enticing speech, she caused him to yield. With her flattering lips, she seduced him. Here are the six points, six traps of a loose woman. Number one, a loose woman catches a man's eyes by dressing seductively. She walks and moves in overtly sexual ways. Everybody should move. Women should move, men should move. But there's a certain way a woman can move that is seductive. There's a certain way a woman can sit that is very seductive. A woman can't sit like this, like me, I'm sitting there. Please don't look at, don't imagine anything, I'm just demonstrating. <laughs> you can't. A woman should sit like this, or like this, or most like that. Is that not so? <laughs> so, there are certain ways. There's a certain language as well that a woman shouldn't use. So, this woman on point number one, she exposes parts of her body. A man is moved by what they see. Thank you. How is it? Some of just quit it. She exposes parts of her body. There are certain parts of her body that cause a man, that triggers sexual interest in a man. Mm. If you show a lot from here to here, there's a problem with a man. Hey. Big problem. Amen. That's why when you are seated down, you can't allow your skates to fly. Put them together. I'm not here to teach women how to dress. I don't want to enter into that. All I'm simply saying is that there are certain parts of the body that cannot be exposed without you attracting vultures and hyenas in your life. Amen. That's why if you're a woman and you're looking for a man to marry, don't expose certain parts because the type of men that will be attracted are hyenas, they are after the flesh. Yes. Yeah. You will attract all manner of men, bad men, in your life. Simple, dress decently. Say amen. Amen. So this woman knows how to walk as well. She walks in a seductive manner. Mm, yeah, I'm the chiggy is wounded. No one should see your underwear as you are walking. 
That's not proper. Amen. Can I say that again? Amen. No one should see your underwear as you are walking as a woman. That's covered because it covers things that we call private parts. If God intended your private parts to be seen, he would have put them on your forehead. <laughs> you leave your Nchompiza here on your forehead. <laughs> you can imagine men with the Nchompiza on their foreheads. <laughs> And women will not be worshipping, they will be looking and say, wow. Is it size 5 or size 6 or size 7? Mm. So these are private parts. Ladies, they must be sealed, concealed, hidden. Mm. So know how to sit. That's lesson number one. Know how to sit. Tell your neighbor, know how to sit as a woman. So she exposes her parts and therefore problems. Number two, a loose woman shocks a man by talking about intimacy without any inhibition. Just talks. Boom. If you are to attract a decent man in your life, measure your words as a woman. Mm -hmm. Measure your words. Measure your words. Know what to say and what not to say. Mm -hmm. Men appear to be strong, but they are cowards. When they find a woman who possesses this, ah! and they stay away from you mm -hmm. they stay away this woman the bible says verse 11 she was loud then the men genuine men don't want that in fact, I find that genuine men don't want to be stalked by a woman because men by nature are hunters. They want to hunt. You want to hunt and not to be hunted. Mm. Unless there are few men that want to be hunted. Mm. And verse 13 here, she describes a bold woman who caught a man and planted a kiss, one bam, bam, de, mm. It's a loose woman. Number three. A loose woman reassures the man saying, God put us together. And for sure is a bab. We are Tilapuko and Busem seven zero covering sex or covering the style of the Sena which I last one. Ah, we am Tina. We am Fonela. I would jar over and cry. Just one test. I'm Tina. <laughs> and she says, you are the only one who can help me with my problems. Mm. Number four. A loose woman tempts a man with stories about how sexy her body looks and how her room smells. Verse 16, I spread my bed with tapestry and colored coverings of Egyptian linen.
kwa tula zwi eche cha kusela mtu di amen lapa nkala no amen pela bazana la and therefore she goes on to describe sexuality or sexual activity in a very vivid way and then she's doing that to a man and that man is gone number five a loose woman uses words of flattery and invitation to secure what she wants once she has painted a picture of desire and influenced a man's sexual desire that man is finished here are some of the words proverbs 7 verse 18 come let us take our fill of love until morning if you want to say we until morning so come on with ya lapa till morning because before sex you will never think that you will be satisfied did you know that how can you come to la pasture and i'm saying but after it's done, you think, but what was the fuss about? Yeah, it is finished. Proverbs 7, 21. With much of a fair speech, she calls him to yield. Hey. <laughs> So therefore a married man who has continual refreshing from his wife, it will be very difficult for him to yield. They yield when there is a gap and you are gone in that gap. So wives, you have a responsibility. While men have a responsibility to say no, but wives can help. You can play your part to keep this man. He's a businessman, is that not so? Uh -huh. He's in danger. I'm not saying it's your fault, but he's in danger from his own weaknesses, but in danger when sanctions are applied. Hmm. Because I'm a test of the logopedian. So he must stay at home. Number six. A loose woman finally tells a man. We won't get caught. My husband is out of town. Except that the husband decides to change the air ticket from Wednesday to Friday. And therefore, problems. Verse 90 says, my husband is not at home. He's gone a long way. So a loose woman views sex as a game of power. She knows power. She understands power. And they are always looking for prominent men. But if you are a prominent man, <laughs> if you are a prominent man, you're in danger. Who is a prominent man? A businessman is a prominent man. A politician is a prominent man. A pastor is a prominent man. Mm. These are prominent people. So they know what to project. Ilisto njanga ushaba ngalo zuhambi. Aba yendo abe ngabo ni paka tuwe kuba kutinze. Agu pide like a cobra. Agu chai fudi ngeli. Agu chai gone. They are isolated. Boom. The done. The job is done. Women are designed in a powerful way. In fact, we say men are strong, but really women are very cunning and strong. They know that they have power. If you are constantly under that eye, Mapong, under that eye, oh, you'll need God, don't you yield? It is not going to be a little bit of 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 a <laughs> I 
Sume ke baba ndlovu sisuma lapha hlezi khona ati tsha. Etsha enye perfume. Eh. Owaza kuyizwe dlo ngoba za kumthengele. Eh. Ate dlula ukuthi pha. Isketi zila. Asithi kwa. You need prayer to come out of that. <laughs> you need much prayer to come out of that. Are we not describing the things that are happening everywhere? <laughs> so it's your responsibility and mine and his, if you are married, to help each other. If we don't, we're in trouble. Yeah, to help each other. It's a vice. Once it gets hold of you, ah, yeah, munzima. Hmm. A friend of mine said even at night he would feel that he must visit this lady. This lady had shown her things that he, the man had never seen. One a.m. where where is Zoom Ziba Suchisa? Up and we toilet a puma nyeny kwa kwa kop abale for one hour pendu. And therefore, it's a game of power. And she has the power. Ask Delilah, you will understand. <laughs> Delilah caused one of the most anointed men to fall. Yeah, Delilah. Delilah knew. Delilah knew all these ways. Even the language, don't you love me? Sex. Every man is susceptible to this. Every man. If I meet a man who says, me, I'm strong, I don't suffer, that's the man that will go. Every man. This way. And the women know <laughs> somehow the charm in them is. A woman is an amazing creature. God designed. And once she is conquered, you she knows I've conquered. You have to have an apostolic anointing. I won't again when I was a woman. You heard Reverend Scott saying, just a maid can say, when I move it, I'll be an apple. My body language is in Jaros of Shupi, who moves all what is. There is no way a maid will say that, isn't it? We are an apple. And you hear of Zekat, oh, Mamma was a wukat and the young girl win. You owe her. Captured. And will a state capture? Will a man capture? <laughs> now, if you want to know how the sex drive of a man is strong, watch the scripture. This one. First Kings 11, verses 3 to 4. This is the king anointed. His name is King Solomon. Watch this. Verse 3. And he had how many wives? 700 wives. 700. What do you do with 700 wives? You'll find that Solomon had kids with most of them. 700 wives. Yeah? And 300 concubines. In total, a thousand. One thousand. As the power of a man, please stand. Hey. Hey. 
and it says, King Solomon's life was turned away from God, completely away from God. Gone. Is it possible for a man to have a thousand wives? There you see it. It's the force in a man, that fountain that we talked about. May God deliver you and deliver me from sex outside marriage. From sex outside marriage. May God deliver you and me. In the name of Jesus. May you and I, when we see a lady, a lady of our age as a sister or a brother, unless they are assigned to you as a wife. And that's why young ladies, please, don't have a boyfriend when you don't intend to marry them. You are opening a door to early sex. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's why as a young guy, don't you have a girlfriend when you don't want to marry them? What is it for? Wow. Mm, what are you doing with her? You will end up sleeping with her. And therefore you are in a vice. And once you sleep with her, there is no age to get committed to her. Wow. Mm. Anything dating for more than two years without marriage, you are in trouble as a Christian. You will end up fornicating. Yeah. Make sure your dating period is short and make sure you know the intentions of that man about your life. You want me? What do you want? Do you want to circle with me? Do you want to get married with me? Yes. And if you get a man who says, let's keep it private, let no one know who's our private, who's our tester, everywhere else, because he wants it private. Many ladies are told by men in church, watch it, but we are going out. If you get a man like that, you know you're in trouble because he wants to have sex with you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Any man who finds a lady must be proud. I have found a proper girlfriend. Pastor, this is my girlfriend. I am serious about this. Lord, never agree to that. Anybody who says quiet, let's not declare our relationship, you know there is danger there. Yeah. Amen. Say amen. amen. And perhaps you are in a relationship here, it's unknown. A man has said, don't change this now as we leave and say, amen. we have to tell somebody. Oh, yes. Because then when we know, we can monitor. Yeah. We can see. Say amen. amen. <laughs> How many are in relationships here which are not known? Lift up your hand. <laughs> All right, let me put it the other way around. How many are in relationships anyway? You are not married, but you are in relationship. Lift up your hand. How many are in relationships here? I see, lift, lift up your hand, sir. Is the lady here? No. Come here, sir. Come. Anybody else in relationship? All right. If you are a lady and your guy does not want you to come, come anywhere here. Come, come, sir. You are in a relationship. Ladies, how many are in a relationship? Stand. I want to help you. I want to help you here today. Umaro, we're liberating our wasach. We fit in Umaro. How many are in a relationship? We want you to come. If you're a man, a lady, come, come right here. You have someone in your life. Move this. Move, move, move this. How many are in relationships? You can't tell me that in a church like this, these are the only relationships that are known. Choir, help me. Do you know if anybody in choir is in relationships? 
Absa, come right here. You are in a relationship. Come, 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 come. How many are in a relationship in the choir? Where is uh, Maro? Help me. Is there? Uh, how many in a relationship, Maro? Carrots. Carrots, come here. Come here, carrots. Daniel. How? Daniel. Daniel, but I'm a priest, Who? Faith. Faith, you are in a relationship. Come. Laura, Laura. Laura, Faith, and Laura. Come. Faith and Laura. Oceana. Are you in a relationship? Come. Come, Oceana. If you are in a relationship, come. Come if you are in a relationship. I am told you are in a relationship. Come. Where is Faith? Faith, Faith, Faith. Where is Faith? She's not here. Who else is in a relationship? Matam. Matam Guya. Matam. Can you see why these guys are struggling to come? Because there's a lot of nonsense that goes on. Uh, yeah. Sylvester, where are you? Uh, Matam. Who <laughs> relationship? Yes. Who relationship? We are fit. I know, Bishop. Matang, who relationship? Maro, who relationship? You are in a relationship. When you came on your own, you lifted them. You are in a relationship. Where's Carrot? Carrots! Come. Where's Carrots? Come. Is he gone? He's here. Carrots, come. Right. Who else do you know who's next to you and they're in a relation? I'm not talking of married people here. I'm just talking of single people. Who else do you know who's in next to you there? <laughs> All right. While you stand, I want you to turn around and look at these guys yeah. Yeah. so that they get to see you. <laughs> uh -huh. Can you see why, Pastor Noma, we are struggling here? Yeah. It is because, because when we are genuinely in a relationship with someone you love and you want to marry, you want to declare it. Mm -hmm. When it's hidden, there are sweet waters that are stolen. Mm -hmm one way or the other not with all of them but with some of them ah. secret, lover. secret lovers mm. yeah. because matter okay yes. so we are zero about when it's all late we are are Carrots. Not yet. But I'll tap a tap it. So cheer. So one vagaja numero. So cheer with Find one steady person, Carrot. Yeah. I am monitoring you myself. Yes. One person.
You are a handsome guy. But find one person. It's sex I pay. I can't use a balayo. Hey, hey, go and pay away. I can't. Hey, you die early. Please, one person, steady person. You can't do one thing more. Handsome guy. Handsome guy. Handsome guy. But very dangerous guy. He found it. In Copolosa. You are fine. You told us about the king. Wow. You were hiding. Where's the dude? Oh! Never allow her to hide you because you'll be full of you. Hanlo is a prominent guy, he sings, he sings everywhere. And they anoint him. So, we didn't get a relationship how many months? Four months. Inja. I'm now in love. Also, that's why you are always here. <laughs> okay. Wow. So you are visiting. Yeah. You are visiting us as the church, but really your main visit is here. <laughs> when, how, long, how old is the relationship? Six months. No sex. No sex. No sex. Okay. We are counting on you to say no. No sex. <laughs> Carrot, we say to you, sex stops here today. I think for you. Here. Stop this. <laughs> we wish we could touch that area and say, be healed. No sex. Even an as we go holiday, Maro, say, I've won my partner. No sex. Matam, 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 matam. No sex. Where <laughs> Where's the lady? Akula. Tomba ni mizule. In faith. Hmm? I couldn't know faith. Hmm. Oh, okay. Who's on them? She's coming. Oh. Oh, but you can't go. Auntie, now, now, team is this. I'm not team is so beautiful, young boy. So when you put your paper and you say, this, you just say, ha, my son, I'm telling you, I'm going to have principles of God. Could you please stand up here, Lapanch? Who is the guy? Tembani. Wait, who is Tembani? He's at SOM. Edward? SOM. SOM. Oh, he's not here today. Oh, okay. He's uh, with the Reverend Peasant. All right. Is it a secret relationship? It's known. It's By who? Uh, uh, Pastor Tinashe knows. Pastor Oh, Kwaribu. <laughs> Do you know about this relationship? Okay. What about you? Uh, was he used to match you? Eh? Oh, Pastor Bokkam. But there's a lady that you visit. No. There's a lady that you visit. That lady that you visit. Who's that? I'm I was lodging. You're lodging? Yes. The lodger didn't do anything. Two, anything. Two. 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 Two, absolutely. I know, but like, like, we own our house. We own our house. We have a salary. So they go to anything. Ah, yeah, 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 ye
Daniel, who are poor? She's dating. Who knows about the relation? Ah, uh, everyone knows. Hmm. Mm. Uh, no, okay. Oshian, book club, be with you in the relation. Book club, be bank. There is no one in your life. Oshian, why are you hesitating? I'm not hesitating. Okay, there is no one. No. Okay, all right. Let's stretch forth and pray for these relationships. Mm -hmm. Please, don't date anyone unless you have an intention to marry them. Your intention was to marry her. Yeah. Father, we're praying for these relationships. We pray that the grace of God will hover over them. We pray for men and women that they will have fear of God as they conduct these relationships. Holiness and purity in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. No sex before marriage. Let's say it together. I can't hear you, church. Thank you. No, no sex, sex before marriage. Me. One more time. No sex before marriage. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> we are not different from people outside. No different. Yeah. No sex before marriage. Please point out to someone next to you and say, no sex before marriage. Or no sex outside marriage. Say to them, no sex outside marriage. Mm -hmm. I was going to go and give you different types in two minutes. Please go down, go down as we conclude. What is fornication? An unmarried man meets an unmarried woman and they have sex. That's fornication. The Greek word is kalal. That's what we call fornication. Number two, what is adultery? Married man or woman has sexual intercourse with someone other than their spouse. We call that adultery. Where's Ogala Bazalanwa? Here's number three, incest. Sex with a son or a daughter or a close relative. It's unbiblical, it's not allowed. Mm, it's demonic. You can't se have sex with your cousin or your niece or your daughter or your son mm -mm. or a close relative, you can't. What is bestiality? Sex with an animal. Mm -hmm. Many men have sex with animals. With goats, pigs, chickens. It's true story. True story. True story of a chicken. A man went into a fowl run. Fowls were running everywhere. He was trying to catch and have sex with a chicken. That's the drive that we're talking about in a man. Uh, with a chicken. Yeah, a man, a man must be disciplined. Mm. What is rep forcing yourself sexually upon someone? These days, women rape men, but ordinarily, it's men that rape women. You must be in jail. If you practice that, you must be closed in jail, locked up in jail. No man worth their soul is to violate a woman. Never. If a woman comes for cutting to me, I will be the first one to call the police. I will start with the CIO, first of all, so that they deal with you. Huh? No man. Are you hearing me, man? No young man is to rape a woman. Never. Don't do it. You are going to jail for 14 years minimum and you're not coming out there. They will rape you, other men will rape you in prison. Yeah. We will tell them you are in there because you raped a woman. Now they will rape you there. Mm. 
What is homosexuality? A man having sex with another man. It's abnormal. A man has no entrance. No entrance. So to enter via the exit, even naturally, it's a sin. That's why there are those written exit. <laughs> you can't try to enter via exit. No. <laughs> no, no. I don't care what Europe says, human rights, whatever rights. God never intended that you enter via an exit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rubbish. What's wrong when a man sees another man and you see attraction? Mm. Only a woman has an entrance. We are so glad to see you. 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 Something wrong with you. That's demonic. You need deliverance. I prayed for many, by the way, here in this church. They are delivered. Yeah, yeah. One, some of them are married. Here. Demon, I prayed for them, they've fallen and rippled. Demons come out. So it's not from God. No woman, let's look at the other, lesbian, a woman having sex with another woman. <laughs> you need the njompiza from a man, not a, <laughs> inside marriage. Don't look for another woman. Yeah. Next. Masturbation. Who's <laughs> Taza? Your organ was never meant for you to hold, except when you are <laughs> having a pee. Never. Never hold your, your organ and play around with it. Never. Are you hearing me, young man? <laughs> Because you play around with that organ, eventually it's a machine. Yeah. It can't function when you are married. Mm. Yeah, it can't function. And the lady will be in trouble. Something happens when you play around with that organ in your biological mental state. Leave it alone. Should it stand in the morning because the blood is rushing? Mm. Yeah, there's a cold shower. Mm. Chips, there's a cold shower. I know you have an organ, Chips. Yeah. <laughs> That's masturbation. Women masturbate as well. Mm. Next, group sex. Having sex with a group of people at one go. Hey, so clear, like my fuzzy parties. Everywhere. Group. Even married men bring their wives and then together, so we in Gaza to test the pan and I will test the pan. Wow, could you come to Mama Lobu in Jersey Jazz? Here is the last one, hopefully. Last one. Sexting. Mm. Sending messages of sexual nature to someone. Some others send parts, private parts. Where do you get time to take your parts and send them to someone? In our group by mistake, in our group someone sent a part. There was silence like in heaven. For them days, no one would speak. And so my wife is in that group, so it landed there. Silence. For one week, I broke the silence by saying, I don't an opposite. Opposite It was a female part. <laughs> For me, when it entered, I thought it was a chicken. It came like a chicken. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs>
Oteti kukuwa ifake la pana mbani. Irodi rana ye. People are crazy. People are crazy. My wife was in a group, another group, where an elder woman, she says I could tell this is a part of an elder woman. It appeared, but it was there. She, she, she said, she said, this woman couldn't be less than 60. The part landed. Boom. An ancient part. <laughs> it had appeared, but it was angry and ancient. <laughs> It landed. <laughs> Please don't send parts on the phone. You will make a mistake and touch a button and send a part to your dad or to your, to your mother. Hey, can you imagine? Oh, Mama Joe, can you? Oh. <laughs> Never do it. I don't care which man says I love you, send your. Say no. <laughs> because you are. We're inflaming them. It's time to go. Stand, please, stand. Lifundile in Bazarimba. Kaku. Delete all parts in your phone. What's up? Delete them. Straight up the list. Delete them. Lift up your hands now and say, Lord Jesus, deliver me from sexual immorality, sexual perversion. Deliver my mind from oppression, sexual oppression, all other oppressions. I declare today that my mind, my soul, my spirit will be pure in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from lust, lustful eyes, lustful flesh, in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. And God bless you. As I'm bearing Christ about this scripture, let's just be here. There's a scripture here, Deuteronomy 1, verse 11. May the Lord times more numerous than you are. Goodbye. We'll see you next Sunday. It's Tuesday. We are here continuing talking about sex one month before we cooperate other things like marriage, children.